this is my killer kit video for my roundabout kit which is the June kit for Sui Calico from 2013 and I have just killed it yay so I will go through real quick and just uh, show you the layouts and all of these layouts have process videos so if, if you've seen one and you haven't seen the process video yet just go back on my channel and uh, find the video and it will all be there and that's where I go into all the detail about um, what I did and why I did it and um, the products used and all that good stuff. So I'll just do this real quick and then I'll show you what I have left and then show you which kit is coming up. So this was the first one I did and uh, it's called Journey and it was about my husband's trip. Uh, he had a working trip to England and so uh, he got some great pictures for me and um, and I made a page about it. <laughs> uh, the coolest thing on this page that I really love is um, the glassine bag that held products in the kit and I emptied it and cut it down and used that to hold tickets that he had saved for me. He saved all his tickets from things he did and trained rides he took and everything. So um, that sits there and it holds my journaling as well. So I love this one. Uh, this next one is also an England page and they're gonna go together in my album. So. I just made sure it's not a double page layout it's just uh, they'll just go together and complement each other since it's from the same trip so I I brought in some elements from over here over here I have the clouds um, I have the black arrows here and the matte paper is echoing over here as well so just kind of similar stuff so that they can go together without being an actual double page layout uh, so this is this one I'm sorry guys, I'm really going to work on like when I try to show you things, I keep going all over the place. <laughs> I'll get the hang of it soon, I hope. <laughs> so that's that one. So those two will go together in my album. And then I did this one of Kaylin's Kindergarten Spring Picture and uh, used this big, huge rose <laughs> from freckled fawn actually that didn't come in the studio calico kit that was from my freckled fawn kit um i don't know if i'll use the rest of those honestly because i i did go and try to put this in an album and it was pretty bulky like the page protector puckered up a little bit on top so i don't think i'm going to use the rest of those i'll probably put those in my giveaway bin that i have sitting in my uh scrap room um and this one uh, has this title, the um, I Think You Are Lovely, the Square Fleur Badge from Freckled Fawn. And that was my title badge. I love that one about this layout. There's a lot of Freckled Fawn in this one. <laughs> okay, and here is Bestest Friends about Kaylin and her best friend Allie. And I was pretty proud of myself for using such a bold background. I don't normally go for really bold, busy backgrounds, but... Um, this one was fun, and I I'm, have not met a chevron I haven't loved yet. So, <laughs> And this was the layout that was inspired by Diana over at uh, Studio Calico. And um, I will put a link to her layout. In, um, it's in the process video, and I'll also put it in here as well. So if you want to see the inspiration behind this layout, because I had trouble trying to figure out exactly where I was going to put everything and how I wanted the layout to look. So I went over to Studio Calico and uh, just looked through the member gallery and saw Diana's layout and immediately I got ideas. So I used her layout as inspiration. So um, if you want to check out her layout to see, to see how I interpreted hers, then I'll uh, just click on the link in the description of this video and uh, you can see hers. So there's that one. And this one is Layla's first movie and had the really dark picture, but I, I wanted to record it. So uh, I just highlighted that with a little bit of dark around as well, but also bringing in some rainbow colors and some bright, almost neon green to uh, help to help kind of brighten the layout up a little bit. Because if it was all dark stuff, then it would be kind of sad. <laughs> so <laughs> the green helps it to... Uh, um, to help brighten it up a little bit. And I use a lot of Heidi Swap, the just the um a pack that a friend of mine had given me and I could use that thing forever. I love it and there's a ton in there. A lot of that green is from it. Okay, and my last one, I literally just got done making it, so it's still kind of drying, so that's why I didn't have it in the pile. <laughs> uh but the poncho, the poncho layout. 
and uh, this is one where I used up all of these black cow, um, clouds that were in the kit. They, all the clouds and all the raindrops were all in the pack and I completely used up um, all that. There's still some more stuff but all the clouds and raindrops are all used up and there was a ton in there and you saw some on the other layouts as well. Um, and I used a paint dauber to make some big blue circles and um, a um, eye droplet, yeah, to use for mist and got it um, to kind of look like it was raining on the layout, which it really does. And it was kind of a happy accident because I wasn't sure I liked it. <laughs> at first I looked at it and I was like, uh, that's really messy. But the more I looked at it, the more I said, it looks like it rained on my layout. And that is kind of the point. So um, I'm happy with it. Okay, so those are all the layouts that I made. Here's what I have left. Very, very minimal. Here's the cardstock I have left, all scraps. Red, green, one piece of craft will go in my scraps. My pattern paper, I have three branding strips <laughs> and uh, a little bit of the screen, two strips of the screen and then one teeny tiny square, so those will go in my scraps as well. I have this uh, stamp that I used. Um, I used that a couple times, so I'm definitely gonna I'm gonna keep that because it's cute. Um, I have twine that I did not touch, <laughs> but it will go with the rest of my twine stuff, so not a problem there. Um, I have the rest of these uh, where the clouds and everything came in. I have some random shapes. Uh, there's a car. There there's a van. There's a dog. There's a cat. There's a racket like a racquetball racket or something. Uh, that's like a leaf. There's a couple trees in there, so I'm sure I'll find uses for those. And from that big simple storage chipboard, um, I have a few pieces left. They're almost all travel themed. Um, the only one that's not super travel themed is this one. It says proof of one great day, so I'll definitely use that on something. The rest of them, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to use. So I will probably put these in a little baggie and put them in my giveaway box. Um, since they're all travel themed and the, you know they can definitely all be used together or in, even in one cohesive album or something. So I think I'm going to put those in my giveaway pile because I don't think I'm going to um, be able to find a use for those. Okay, so that is it. That's all I have left. And my next kit to start working on is Valley High, which is July from 2013. So I'm going to, um, in my Kill a Kit video for Planetary, no. Um, actually, it was in the process video for the journey layout. Um, before I started the process, I actually went through my kit and showed you how I chose pictures to work with for the kits. So if, if you're interested in that process at all, go back to my journey processing video. Um, I think it's video number three. And um, before I start the process, I actually go through and show you how I choose pictures and what I look for and things like that. So if you're interested, go back and check that out. So I'm going to pull this kit out here and start choosing some pictures and start getting to work. I will see you soon. Thanks. Bye.